You say it's a different team, yet everybody in the country is going to be gunning to take down Maryland. How do you get your guys to buy into the fact that they have a target on their back every game? I don't think that really changes year to year. You know, it's Maryland. Um, you know, we've been playing lacrosse for a long time. We have great tradition. So uh, we kind of have to realize when you step on the, in the locker room here and step on the field, that's what you're going to get. Um, so I think there are a number of other programs that are the same. So, um, you know, that's why you practice so hard all year long. Um, and you've got to simulate that intensity every day in practice. You know, be the best is be the best. Um, if you take on that mentality, it hopefully will get you ready for those games because you're really striving to be your best regardless of a lift or a practice or anything you do. So if you're really pushing and challenging yourself every day, that's about all you can do in a game. When you gave the number one jersey to Brett Maycar, what went into that decision? With Viner Forgates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Forgates, where making your company work is our primary mission. I think the first thing that has to be proved by the lawyer on behalf of any client who's injured their neck or back is that the client was hurt, and they were hurt in this accident. And even though they had pre existing pre-existing problems, the damage to this individual client is much worse now after the crash than it was before. We do that with pain and suffering witnesses. We do that with doctors that know the individual patient. Uh, yeah, a lot went into that decision. I think there were a number of guys that could have um, you know, handled wearing that jersey and, and done a really good job and, and represented well. So it really, there were no bad choices. Um, but, you know, stepping back, talking to the staff, um, you know, and really taking our time on it because we really wanted the fall to kind of play itself out. Uh, we just kept coming back to Brett. Um, he's done so much for our program. Not that the other guys haven't. We've had so many guys give a lot to the program. Um, but just Brett, his, who he is, um, anybody that's been around him for as long as we have, uh, even before he got here. He's a pretty special and unique guy, um, and I think um, he'll represent the number one uh, very, very well. Can we ask you about Dante Trader? Uh, Dante's done great so far. He's kind of uh, thrown him to the wolves uh, a little bit. Um, it's been a lot of learning quickly, but he's a quick learner. He's uh, a guy that is super competitive. He's very invested. Uh, another guy I've had a great relationship with for for, you know, since his sophomore year, really, back when we, we could recruit that early. Uh, my biggest concern with Dante is always, you know, how much we're putting on his plate. Um, he's a really competitive guy, um, and he'll always push himself. And sometimes with guys like that, you have to manage how much they're taking on because you know they're going to continue to push and challenge themselves. So uh, I want to make sure that we eat that, you know, that elephant one bite at a time and, and not overload him so he's confused, but also that he's not too worn down because it is a long season. Is he solely in the rotation? Yep, he's in the, he's in the rotation for sure. Oh. Is there a different physicality level when you bring in guys? I know that Brett played a lot of football, Brett Baker. I, I, obviously, Dante plays football. Is there something to finding guys at that level of physicality? Um, I think, you know, you'd love a guy that is that physical. Um, you know, Brett's that physical. Um, but then there are other guys, you know, that uh, Logan Wisnowski is that, you know, he was so skilled and so intelligent. Um, didn't necessarily need to bring that level of physicality, but if you watch some of our games last year when the opportunity presented itself, he actually wasn't afraid to put his shoulder down. So uh, I think picking your spots and picking the right spots is important. But yeah, we are a physical team um, and within the rules and at the appropriate time, we definitely want to utilize that.